Hey guys, welcome back to another Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. I am Green Zero, and we are bringing some more Kane's Wrath action here. It is Australia Day, so I have the day off today, and I've got some stuff to do, but uh, it is still the morning, so I'm still going to quickly crank out this video for you uh, before I have to head on out. But uh, other big news, obviously you can see in this game here, we have Panic and Bike Rush. So this is going to be a stellar game, by the way, because you won't find this on the replay system uh, this has been sent to me by the player, so I'm really looking forward to this game. It should be really good. But before we jump any further, we're going to go into uh, something a little bit different here. Uh, as, of course, you guys know, or you should really know, I am banned from the Revora server. Uh, they don't like me very much. They like to be very disruptive and things like that. And, of course, uh, there's a lot going on back there. But as you know, I still play on it anyway. They can chase me. They can ban me. They can do whatever. Not going to stop me. I'm still just going to push around those things. So... We're going to keep playing Kane's Wrath, but I have a quick two-year re two review here to put things into perspective, and uh, we're going to have a look at that. So this is uh, my two-year review because it has been two years since I've been banned today, uh, which is pretty epic. Uh, and as you can see, if we have a look at the uh, the games played here, uh, I'm doing a quick comparison to the previous two years. So January 2013 to January 2015, of course, I was not banned during that time frame, and I managed to accumulate 1,733 games on average for that two-year span of not being banned. Now, you can see January 2015 to January 2017, the two years I have been banned, you're looking at that number, you're like, hang on a second, 2,552, how how does this correlate? Aren't I supposed to be banned? Shouldn't that be at least lower? Well, it's not. It's 819 games more in the same period, um, which is an increase uh, of, uh, of basically 47, 47.26%. Uh, 47 so, somehow instead of uh, instead of playing no games being banned or, or playing less games being slowed down I've somehow managed to play 47 uh, and a quarter percentage more games in the same time frame so that's that that's 2552 games in uh, while banned. that's 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 the most Kane's Wrath I've ever played in the history of the game it's the most active period and this just demonstrates that you know, Revora don't know what they're doing. Uh, of course, Revora, if we look at the score here, they've had absolutely zero successful bans. And uh, I can tell you right now, they've, they've banned me over, uh, probably over 3,000 times in two years. And um, to, to try to hit me 3,000 times and to have absolutely zero <laughs> successful bans, that's got to be demoralizing. But uh, we'll let those guys do what they want. They, they can just do whatever. It's not going to slow us down or stop us. I don't make a lot of videos about them. There's like one or two. And I, I know they love watching my videos. They're watching this video right now. They're probably raging and reporting it and trying to get it taken down and all that kind of crap. But nobody cares. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's enough about that because I don't like my channel to be too much about the bad stuff So we're gonna jump back into the game. So let's jump straight into this game here. We have bike rush owns and panic B4 to Bart Burger, whatever the heck his name is, but on the top side here We're gonna have bike rush owns I'm assuming because he loves to play red I should have checked the colors, but I didn't check the colors. It is bike rush owns. He's bet he's Delta nod faction now This is a random error. He's actually vanilla nod. We're on tournament dust bowl and that means Panic is down here as a Scrin faction. He's going Refinery first. He is definitely going Refinery first because he has no structures down here. So um, in a random mirror, if you do get a Scrin faction, and if it's not Traveler, it can sometimes be a little bit tricky because you, you never know how many buzzers you're going to need. Um, you don't know how many scouts they're going to have, things like that. So there's a fair bit to think about. Bike Rush sent three militant squads and an engineer to the right-hand spike. Uh, this gravel pile, which I keep picking up on every now and then, is a bit of a problem because the screen forces can creep up on you that actually blocks line of sight. The forces have to close to engage, and that's, of course, good for the buzzers. But Panic is going to be a vanilla screen, so he's screen vanilla here. So he's got the best of both worlds, a little bit of Traveler, a little bit of Reaper, nothing uh, nothing too strenuous. Because if you think about it, Traveler and Reaper, they're extremes of Scream. Like, tra Traveler is, is super heavy mind control, super heavy quick attack. And uh, Reaper's super slow, super powerhouse. And uh, Scream, they say it's right in the middle, but really it, it's pretty far away from Reaper's steamrolling ability. And it's pretty far away from Traveler's mind control ability. So they still play... Uh, fairly uniquely, but they've got a bit of everything, so there's really nothing that they can't handle. Whereas you'll find Reaper, with their lack of artillery, that can be a bit of a problem. Their lack of aircraft as well, uh, that can be a, a bit of an issue for them. And uh, Traveler, of course, don't really have any tanks uh, they can build. I mean, they have no dev tanks there. Tripods don't get shields, um, so they really heavily rely on that, that mind control, that fast attack, that harassment. 
Force is coming out already for Panic. He's got some Disintegrators and he's got a Seeker tank out as well. His Bike Rush rushing, I didn't even capture that. Uh, he's got four and two, no, so I don't believe he's rushing. No, Panic seems to think there might be something on the way. Uh, perhaps an all-in draft. Just two of these Disintegrator squads here. A little bit on edge. He's a little bit scared, isn't he? He's building a few more Seeker tanks, so this is fine. He's probably going to use these Seeker tanks to, uh, to do some type of... Uh, harassment, maybe a little bit of a push. Um, there, there's, you, there's a lot of strategies where you can just pump out half dozen, just send them down the map, and uh, uh, Bike Rush will basically have to build uh, some combat units. It'll force combat units out of him because if uh, Panic were to drop the repair drones, that can be a nightmare because repair drones repair really quickly. They last forever, and you just can't kill anything yet. Here we go. Lightning Spike is down. Is he going to call in the repair drones now? So this is a very classic push that we see a lot from these screen players. He's not deciding to call in the repair drones here. Um, forces the draft of that operation center because it'll allow him to kill this lightning spike very quickly. Lightning spike's very pesky. Oh, he gets a harvester. That's nice work. He could just back out because he's only lost one seeker tank. Uh, he's probably going to lose a second and now he's probably going to lose a third as well. Should be able to snare that one. That wasn't too bad. I mean, he didn't use the repair drones. He did lose the lightning spike and three seeker tanks for a harvester, but that will definitely rattle bike rush a little bit there. And of course, he had to sell his tier two, which he probably didn't want to do. As soon as he placed it, he had to sell it to get the Black Hand Squad. Had to rebuild the Harvester. So now Panic. Oh, look at this. He's gone for a Crane, which means he is going to go very, very heavy on the Eco, I'd imagine. I could imagine that's the only thing that that is for. He's got one Refinery down. Is this? Oh, wow. He's got double Ref. He actually went straight for that. Bike Crush just puts his first Ref down. Uh, he's only got six Harvesters here. One, two, three, five, six. Seventh Harvester does now come out. Uh, the Seeker Tanks have backed off all the way to base, I believe, unless they were cornered somewhere. No, actually, two of them are still sitting out here on the right-hand side, so uh, Bike Rush just looking a bit uh, edgy here. So he's got a few Scorpion Tanks just to defend himself. He's going to try to clean up that buzzer. That buzzer could probably just or almost kill the, the uh, uh, Militant Squad there. Black Hand Squad is there. Panic seems to be 100% aware that that is closing in on his base. Not going to be too much of an issue. Still building a handful of Seeker Tanks. Double War Factory here. What's the plan? He puts the Nerve Sand down. He must have sold it. He must have sold it after he used the Lightning Spike ability there. And he's only just replacing it now. Battle Marker comes down. Wants to see what Bike Rush is doing. Bike Rush is just ecoing. So aside from that little bit of a push from Panic... Uh, which did shake Bike Rush a little bit. It looks like they're going to go both go into a very heavy economy game here. Uh, Panic just trying to destroy this power plant here because why not? It's in a vulnerable position. He's not going to get it, unfortunately. The repair tool is able to keep it alive just long enough, a few more seconds, and he would have had that, but the repair tool counteracting it was slowing down the destruction somewhat. Another Seeker tank. This is just Panic just sending units out just to check what Bike Rush has. He's going to know his double war factory, but it's a very late double war factory, of course, because he's got double ref down. So he's obviously only just now has his uh, mind on mass production. Could be going for a third war factory. There is a strategy where you can go either triple and or quad war factory in situations like this. But uh, he's already cleaned up his main field. Not sure what his plans are here. Those Seeger tanks are still alive, so Bike Rush not able to deal with them. And look at this. They're just going to come back and be annoying. <clears throat> they're going to be very annoying. So Bike Rush is going to have to send tanks back to deal with that. Uh, Panic not paying too much attention. I think he just wants to run them in here and have a look what Bike Rush is doing. He's going to see the harvesters transferring. He's not going to get too much of an idea on the tech. I mean, he's going to be pretty comfortable, but it's what he can't see. Can't see over here, but of course we know there's nothing there. So it looks like just lots of scorpion tanks with dozer blades for Bike Rush. Panic is now moving in on this area. He's actually got shielded seeker tanks. Maybe he's going to go for math shard seekers. I know he's actually got mechapedes here as well. So he's going for seekers with mechapedes here. And that will be uh, very good, especially with the shields. They make these units so much more tankier, especially against scorpion tanks. Uh, they'll absorb several rounds before those shields go off. And that, that makes a big difference here. The mechapedes, of course, going to be doing most of the damage. The seeker tanks in support. But this is pretty uh, a pretty unique type of play style here. We don't usually see this type of uh, combination very often. But of course, just having those two mechas in there is oh, there's actually more mechapedes coming now as well. So, uh, Bike Rush, is that a second MCV? No, it's only his one MCV, so he's not going to go multi MCV now. Uh, he's got Dozer Blades, but of course, doesn't have laser capacitors. This is going to be a problem because Panic, uh, of course, very, very uh, high ranked player, is going to be able to keep his mecha heads. Oh, he's actually, he's actually leaving his field open. He can't do that. He's got to come back. He's actually building avatars because I think he realizes. Uh, I actually know, I keep thinking he's Black Hand. He's not Black Hand. He can actually get lasers. Uh, is he going for it? Looks like he might be going for lasers, which will definitely help him out. The, the damage per shot on those is, is very, very high, uh, so you can snipe them down. Uh, Panic just moving back to his base. Has a few disintegrated squads. Aren't going to do too much. They can be easily crushed. Might need a storm column here. He's got a tech center down, probably going for the, uh, 
the, what do you call it, the force field generator. He could be going for shard launches, you never know, he might be going for shard launches. He's got a lot of Seeker tanks out, so that's always a possibility. And look at this, just being just being really annoying and slowing Bike Rush down. That's the second time he's had to redeploy his MCV. He's trying to get to his third base, but Panic is just slowing him down. And it, this is really good because uh, it'll, it'll take him some time to recover because Panic already has his third done. Oh, that Mind Strike will snare one of the Mechapedes. Snipes down the head immediately of the next one there, so that's not a good start there for Panic. His defense there, losing two Mechapedes straight away. Some of these Seeker tanks now getting cleaned up. These Scorpion tanks have a lot of damage potential here. Their laser's doing a lot of damage here. He doesn't really have much at all to defend against this. He's got some forces over here. He's trying to rally back, but his uh, base is under attack. Bike Rush just going straight for the refineries. Wow, if he snipes both the refineries down. No, he uses the Stasis. He uses the Stasis. It's not going for the, uh, he's going for the repair tool now, but he has nothing here. There's a singular tripod. I think another tripod is going to be coming out, but he's just going to try to focus. He's going to focus the extractor and he's going to get it. He's got both the refineries, so it doesn't matter about the harvesters. I mean, harvesters are usually the priority target, but in this situation, I mean, if you can destroy the refineries, it doesn't really matter how many harvesters you have. It's just usually very difficult to destroy the refineries. This tripod here is a little bit far out. He's actually moving with the Scorpion tanks. I'm not sure if I agree with that. He probably should have pulled back. He might lose it. A few Venoms coming across now. He will snipe down another Mechapede. Somehow that tripod survives, and I think he needs to get out of there. He's trying to focus that head down, but I don't think that's going to work. Is he actually going to be able to kill that with Venoms? No, he's turning it around to get repairs from the uh, War Factory, and his Venoms now are getting uh, chewed up just a little bit, so... Uh, one extracted does come back down here for Panic, and he did manage to save that tripod, so he didn't actually lose any tripods. Battle Mark is raging over here. No, it's just these uh, Venoms just coming in and being nasty. They're not really going to be able to do anything here. Sells the Stasis Chamber off because he's already used his Stasis ability. Obviously, not looking to construct any units that require that, although I believe it's just the Shock Trooper and the Mastermind. Hasn't actually claimed this spike here, which is something you might want to do. Bike Rush also on the other side, not claiming uh, his near spike. It's actually, there we go. He's actually just realized it now and he's putting down a, uh, a hand of nod to, to just grab that. I think he might be a little bit low on funds. Yeah, he is. He's stalling, so he's actually constructing it now. Of course, that was a good attack by Bike Rush because now it's allowed him to get double ref down. So we're going to see a, a very late game fight here at the moment. Both sides have their third base up. Panic has fully recovered. Puts the Stasis Chamber straight back down. Maybe he's got, uh, maybe he wants to build a Mastermind. Not 100% sure what his plan is there. Uh, the Venoms are coming back. He's probably going to be going for Disc Mechas. Yeah, he's going for Disc Mechas. you got to be careful. Oh my God. Disc Mechas do so much damage to, to light aircraft as well. They're very, very powerful. Uh, heavier aircraft can take a little bit of punishment, of course, but uh, Venoms will not be enjoying that at all. That one Mechapede getting a little bit aggressive. Yeah, he's realized that now he's going to turn around. What's happening over here? A few scouts in the left-hand side. No flame tanks or anything sneaking around the side of the map. Only four tripods here from Panic. He obviously was greatly slowed down by the fact that he had to replace all this infrastructure. Those two refiners, that's six grand. That's two more tripods he had to fork out for. He's still got no double A cover there. One Mechapede, I believe, is somewhat out of position, but the Venoms aren't exactly going to be able to destroy these tripods. They just don't have the damage output necessary. These four tripods, of course, screen tripods are very maneuverable and things like that, so they can obviously do a lot. Vertigo Bombers coming out as well. Here come the Vertigo Bombers. Is he going to try to go for that Mechapede? He didn't actually drop his bomb there, but he's aware of it now. He can see it. Yeah, the stealth, the stealth has been revealed. He drops the bomb. He doesn't quite get it, so it's actually going to be able to get away. He's trying to rebuild it as it's running, and yeah, unfortunately, Venoms, they just don't have the damage to kill a Mechapede. I mean, they, they do gun damage. They don't do a lot, even with lasers. we got a Shrine coming down here. This could be for a... Uh, Wow, is he going to go? Is he going to do something fancy with the commando, or maybe he's going for just the uh, disruption tower? Uh, did he cloak that? I believe he must have just cloaked his reckoner because it, yeah, it is definitely 100% stealth there. So he's going to put uh, a uh, commando inside that stealth reckoner, and that's going to be nasty. So he's actually going to put an engineer in there as well. So panic's got to be careful. Very vulnerable screener to uh, things like firehawks and commandos because they can't sonic field their bait, their their structures. So if uh, if you get a commando in their base. They basically, I'd have to sell or lose it, so there's no quick fix save for them, uh, unfortunately, which does make it good, especially if you are a GDI player and you have Firehawks, because you can quickly snipe their tech down. Screen in the late game, pretty much need their tech. If they don't have their tech, they're in all sorts of trouble. Maybe Traveler is the one exception, I guess, if they get enough cultists out, depending on what the other player has, of course. Uh, Reaper does have pretty good dev tanks at tier 2. If they are upgraded with conversion reserves, they're pretty insane. Uh, but uh, Screen Vanilla, they in the late game, they need their tech. It's pretty much predominant to their game plan. They're all their really uh, late game or game ending units. So they're all their tier three ones. They don't really end games without them. There's a lot of tripods here. There is a redeem route, which means he can rage these if he needs to. He's queuing up the uh, the avatars though. So 
This should be okay. He's coming. He's got a much better force. Rage Gen goes off, but I think Panic. No, Panic. He is attacking his own tripods now, so he didn't queue up his attacks, which is what you should do. You should waypoint up each avatar. That way, the Rage Gen would have done nothing to him because they would have continued to follow their last orders before the Rage affected them. He's going to rush forward now. He's going to rush forward. He's going to get the EMP off. He gets the EMP off as well, so that Redeemer is pretty much as good as dead. I'm keeping an eye for that Commando. Is the Commando down here? No, the Commando... Oh, he did actually capture the tech center. The Commando is over here, so the Commando's trying to do it. Did the drone ship go down? Oh my god, did he lose his drone ship? That would have been critical. We're actually trying to keep an eye on two things right now. Vertigo Bombers coming in. They need to do a lot of damage. Dropping their bombs. They managed to snare one, but there's Disc Mechas here, and they're going to be able to clear out the rest of these forces here. I think the Vertigo Bombers, will they be able to escape? Not 100% sure. These guys are getting torn to shreds. Meanwhile, Bike Rush still has the uh, the Commando here. Look at that micro. He's just in and out, and he's taking out the police, taking out all the production structures. Oh my god, Panic can't build anything. He's got no production structures. If his drone ship is actually dead, which I believe it is, these are his last forces here now. He's still tearing through this base. He needs to get that drone, that, that air, air tower. The air tower goes down. No more vertigos. He will snare it. Will he get all the vertigos just take off? The question is, do they have bombs? They don't have bombs. They have to reland. Panic, you got to destroy that. Oh, he gets it. He nails it. One vertigo bomber is off the deck now. Does it have a bomb? He really needs it to have a bomb. I don't know. It doesn't have any bombs. It is burning up. Yes, it is burning up. So there's no bombs there. This base is history. Bike Rush, where is he? Commando, buddy. Oh, the Mechapedes did recall back to base. The Commando isn't going to be enjoying that, but it is a stealth reckoner, which means I believe it's still alive. Yes, it is. Oh, he's got the Commando over here. He's bombing. He's bombing the, the tripods. This is insane. He's actually C4ing the tripods here. Oh my god, this commando is actually ranked up as well. There is a veteran commando here, and he's gonna actually, she's gonna actually run forward and she's gonna be able to see for oh he's gotta watch out the mecha are here. The mecha are here. Where is the reckoner? The reckoner is not here, and the mecha will finish it. Not able to get the killing blow on that tripod. Unfortunately, Bike Rush owns now. He's just got a barracks. He's gotta win the game on a barracks, but you gotta remember Panic. Panic cannot build any more units. Once he loses these mecha he has basically no anti-infantry left. He lost a mecha Oh my god, he lost a mecha He puts down the store. He's he's probably got Buzz's Swarm support ability available to him uh, he does he stasis this out he needs he can't build repair drones either unfortunately because uh he doesn't actually have a war factory. Um, is he, he's got a planetary assault carrier, which he needs to bring across. He's got no production. He's got access to some support. Oh my god, Bycrush reclaimed the husks. He used the record to ferry some units across there, and he's reclaimed the husks. This Mechapede is still alive, though. Uh, this Mechapede needs to get out of there. He doesn't want to lose that because that's his only anti-infantry, basically. And um, if he can destroy the barracks right now, the planetary assault carrier can win the game for him. He needs to destroy the barracks first. Where is this planetary assault carrier? He needs to target the barracks immediately. He's actually deployed the Reckoner with... Oh, he's actually destroyed that. That was nice. Wait, he's got an elite tripod. He has an elite tripod. He phases it, he, but he gets both units. He got the Mecha Peter as well. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. The planetary assault carrier is here. He needs to destroy this. Buzzer Swarm comes in. He can't actually clear the, uh, rec the Reckoner, though. That's not a garrison you can clear. And the planetary assault carrier should be able to destroy... Destroy... Oh, what is he doing? Just shoot the barracks! Oh my god, this is frustrating. This is frustrating. Bike Rush actually fully repaired it. I'm not sure what Panic is doing now. He's realized it now. He's going to be able to destroy it. I believe he's just got too... Yeah, he's got too much health. It's actually going to be pretty tight here. Oh my god, did he just... No, he gets it. He gets it. But unfortunately, he's going to lose the planetary assault carrier. And if he loses the planetary assault carrier, I mean... Oh, yes, he crushed... He crushed the Reckoner. He crushed the Reckoner. There's only one rocket squad left. And he kills it. Oh my god. Panic, you're giving me... <laughs> You are giving me a run for my money right now. Oh my god, he got a heroic tripod right at the end there as well. Wow, he he gave he, he opened the door for Bike Rush. You can't deny that he did open the door. And then Bike Rush was standing at the door and he's realized, hang on a second. And, and he's just slammed it shut right at the end there. Oh my god, he, he could have thrown that game right then and there. But unfortunately, at the last moment, he did realize, hang on a second, I'm shooting at infantry with a planetary assault carrier. I need to shoot at the structure. 153,000 to 138,000, so... Uh, there you go, about uh, 15,000 in favor of Panic in that game. Not too much, 16 minute game or 15 and a half minute. Most of that difference came at the end. Bike Rush actually surprisingly ahead for uh, the first half of the game there. But yeah, that commando play from Bike Rush. And you can tell when he was in Panic's base, he targeted very specific structures. He, he got the drone ship and then he destroyed every production structure and he left the rest of it there because he's like, I got to bring my commando back to kill these tripods. And somehow he got engineers in. I don't know how he did that. He's obviously ferried them around with the Reckoner, but uh, that was crazy. I mean, he got, and he got a heroic tripod. Uh, that was panic, but that game got really crazy. And I think both of them at the end would have been really heavily under a lot of pressure and stress. So that's probably why we saw it not a perfect ending there. And that does happen quite a bit. You know, people will make mistakes right at the critical point and they'll realize that they've made that mistake only after they've made it. 
So it comes down to the better player. But that was a really good game. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm Green Zero. Stay tuned to my channel, and I'll catch you all in the next VOD.